Hi friends. Well, today I'm going to try something different here. My friend Bob's always making different kinds of pot pies and all kinds of really good food. So I thought, well, I'm going to see if I can make myself a pot pie. So I found this recipe here. I don't know if we can read this. It says, Grandma's Pot Pie. So, but being Grandpa, I'm going to have to change some things because I can't follow instructions. We all know I'm not very good at that or I wouldn't be having so much trouble on YouTube. <laughs> so my helper bear is right here by my side. He's kind of down here laying low for the moment. He was trying to beg for some food already. Anyhow, the only problem I had, I've been getting my tools ready here. Got to have some potatoes and all kinds of potatoes and oh check out that squash those are from my garden yet I'll have to cook those up and then I've got my coconut coffee sitting here see so I really am drinking coconut coffee when I tell you guys that and banana nut bread coffee I might add some of that to my um, pot pie here too just to make it a little bit more like grandpa would want it <laughs> the only thing is I ran into a problem here I don't know, maybe you guys could help me out, or I might figure it out. I got my dish ready here, but I ran into a problem. I said they use corn, so being a grandpa and all, and I figured, well, I would think candy corn would be the way to go on this, wouldn't you guys? It'd be a lot more colorful than what I see in this picture here. So, <laughs> well, I'm going to get busy here and um, brown up the ground beef and uh, see what I can do. We'll get started here. And see what happens I'm kind of taking some shortcuts I'm using store-bought beefy mushroom soup instead of blending up my own bullion and everything else I'm not quite that ambitious of a cook and then um, that should turn out pretty good though because that tastes all right so I'm gonna get busy here um, start peeling potatoes so I'll be back in a little bit well I'm still at it here making progress <laughs> But boy, you think I would have learned from the last time I used these onions. Wow, these things are strong. I'm like standing three feet away and they're burning my eyes out. Well, we got some potatoes peeled here and they're ready to go. Bear's been catching the ones that go on the floor. But I came up with some more ideas here that might work. Uh, seeing as this is a pie I'm making, I've got my pumpkin pie coffee mix here with a potato holding it down. Never know one might get away. I'm going to add that to the pie also, so that would be like a pumpkin pie, pot pie. Boy, this is getting really good. Then I found this bag of gummy worms that the grandkids like. I think if we put a few gummy worms inside of it for a surprise, that would be good, don't you? <laughs> this is going to be great. And then with candy corn in it instead of regular corn. And I'm going to have to use these pie crust things here. Oops, there we go. I don't know how to make one yet myself, so I'm just going to, i got a store-bought one here I'm going to try to put on top of the pie when I get done. So I'm going to get back to work here, see what I can do. I'm going to put the onions in here with the ground beef and then I'll brown them up and have that stuff kind of pre-cooked before I start. So we'll see what we can do here, so hang on and see how it goes. Oh, I don't know if you notice, I've got my relaxing waterfall going again here. <laughs> I also noticed my, my pie pan is still empty, so I better get busy here. Kitty even came out here and he wanted to get something. So, I'll be back in a little bit, see how this goes. Wow, this is turning into a project here. I ran into another problem too, because in the recipe here it says that I'm supposed to cube potatoes well to me I guess a cube is a square well how do you make good squares when you have round potatoes I suppose maybe where they live they grow square potatoes <laughs> then I run into another problem here I've got to run out in the garage and get some grease I'll be right back it says to grease the pan so hang on Ooh, okay I'm back that was a long run out there we're in luck I was afraid I was gonna have to go to the hardware store in a minute and get some grease but I found this can it's like really old but it says waterproof grease so that should be perfect for grease in the pan so it says works on wheel bearings and axles and water pumps that's some good stuff back in the old days well I want to get busy here again so hang on okay I got the pan greased here 
I was just being silly. I didn't really put axle grease in there from the garage. I used butter <laughs> just in case everybody was, was wondering. But this candy corn sure is good. And those gummy worms, those are going to be great. So hang on while I start adding things to the pan here. Oh, Bear's helping here. Believe it or not, he likes raw potatoes. See, he wants one of these potatoes. You want that bear? Well, now he won't eat it when I'm trying to show you. Oh, there he goes. Okay, well, I'm layering things in the pan now, so we got, a, I think, <laughs> a bigger pan. <laughs> this is going to be funny. I don't think the pie crust is going to fit over this one when I get done. Oh, hang on. Well, my layering process is going really good here. Boy, that candy corn sure is colorful in there, I must say. <laughs> Being from Wisconsin, we have to put cheese in everything, see? So this is another grandpa idea here, so I'm going to add some cheese between the layers. So I'm going to add some more here, so hang on again. Okay, now I got my layers in pretty good shape. I use these frozen vegetables because the garden doesn't have anything growing in it anymore, but you got peas and carrots and beans and... All kinds of good stuff in there, so I put the potatoes in, and the layer of those, and some more cheese. And of course, kind of gummy worms in between. <laughs> now I'm going to mix up my broth that they put in there. They use a regular beef broth, but I'm going to use this soup and mix that up and add a little more water to it. So hang on while I get that brewing here. <laughs> this is funny. You can tell that I'm an old school guy. I get the can opener out here to open up this can and... Wow, it's got a pull tab on there. Wow, it's, I'm learning something new every day here. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to get busy here. It says, uh, this is a, oh no, no, I dumped it out. I'm going to have to add more. It's a ten and a half ounce can. Hmm. Well, it tastes really good. Anyway, I think I'm going to need more liquid than that. So, they wanted 16 ounces of liquid on the recipe. No, 14 and a half to be exact. So, what I did... I put four and a half ounces of water, well, it's running away here, in this cup. So what I'm going to do is mix all this together, and I'm hoping that's going to be enough broth to put in there. If not, I can add more water. So hang on while I get that warming up. Well, that bear, he's a good helper. I mean, look how clean he got my cutting board for me, so I'm all ready to roll that crust out in a minute here. <laughs> Meanwhile, though, I've got my soup mix here, and I added a little water to it, pin it down some, and I'm Got to add some of this, ooh, where'd it go, this butter here. So I'm going to cut off a piece of that and throw that in there. But I'm having a problem here. I wanted to spoon it out of here. Well, this must be some strong stuff. Look at eight holes right through my spoon. So it's really hard to get liquid through this guy. I'm going to have to see what I did wrong here. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cut my butter here and put it in there, so hang on. Oh man, what a mess. They didn't tell me I was supposed to take the paper off the butter before I threw it in there. <laughs> okay, well I'm going to cook this up here. So once it gets all dissolved, then I'll pour it over the top of my pie here. So that'll be the next step. Oh my, I almost forgot an important ingredient here. Get distracted with all these neat oh, the decorations and things. Check these out. These candles are pretty nice. I'm pretty uh, good at standing pain too because they don't even hurt when I touch them. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Leftover Halloween decorations here. Anyhow, I was supposed to add flour to it. I hope I have enough here. Oh, this has got to be the right container because it says flour on it. So I'm going to dump a whole bunch of this in there. Well, probably about that much because it's already thickened a little bit from being soup out of the can. I don't want it to turn into paste. I'm just going to dump that. You can tell you just slowly dump it in there. You know, I don't want to turn into lumps or nothing. <laughs> Ow, that spoon's hot. Woo-wee. Hang on, I'm going to have to get a spoon that don't have holes in it. That one's too hot. Boy, am I making a mess. I found this, whatchamacallit, thingamajiggy thing here. Works pretty good for mixing up the gravy because I think there's a reason that the grandma cookbook here says to slowly add the flour. <laughs> Because <laughs> I had uh, some big lumps in here I had to work out, but I think my gravy's doing pretty good now. Looking good, but I made a heck of a mess. Got the gravy splashed all over the place here. So I'm going to get ready here. Then I think I'm going to, ah, that's probably good enough, eh? Hey? What do you guys think? Let's dump this right over the top of here. It's kind of hot now. 
I just dump it over so it looks nice and good. I have no idea how this is going to taste because I've never made this before. I'm kind of making up this recipe as I go. <laughs> it's the way I do things, you know. Ooh, there's a lot of good stuff in there. I'll let that cool down and barrel lick that out. You like that. Oh, yeah. Okay, now I'm going to let that go down in there. I think I'm supposed to stir it in a little bit. So, let me find my holy spoon again here. Oh, well, that's going to be a project, huh? Well, I'll do that and then I'll be back again here. So, let me give me a few minutes to do that. Well, due to the magic of video here again, I've got it all mixed up a little bit. And I put another layer of cheese on top. So, now I'm going to try to figure out how to do these pie crust things here. That ought to be fun. Put the cover over the top of this thing. Then we have to bake it. So hang on while I get to read the instructions on there. See how to do that. Boy, it is the coolest thing you ever seen. This cake top dough here comes all in a nice baggie inside of there. Then I just unrolled this here. I've got another idea. I don't know. I suppose I better just stick to it. I'm gonna, I don't know if that's going to fit the top of my pan here. Right, we're going to find out here in a couple minutes and see what happens. I'm just letting it stretch out a little bit there. The bear's down here cleaning out my pot for me. <laughs> I know I shouldn't do that, but hey, he likes it. So hang on while I do that. Well, here we go. I got it to stretch on there. What do you think, Bob? Does that look like it's going to work? You think it might explode when I put it in the oven? <laughs> it might. <laughs> them gummy worms might get out of these holes that I put in here, though. Oops, I dropped some candy corn on the top. I don't know if I should leave that there. <laughs> Probably not, but that should be pretty good, huh? What do you think, Bear? Think that'll be good? Boy, you got that pan nice and clean for me, didn't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's a good dishwasher. So... I hope you guys are stopping over for supper tonight because it's going to take a, like a week to eat this thing. <laughs> it's like a, a family size recipe, I think. So, but, and no, I did, just in case you were worried, I didn't really put candy corn and gummy bears in it, but, <laughs> or the pumpkin pie coffee, but it seems like a good idea though, don't it? You got to admit, it spice up life a little bit. Well, I'm going to bake it now. It says 350 degrees for 45 minutes. Oh, but I make a mess here. I better get this cleaned up meanwhile. And then I'll be back. See how it looks when it gets all done. I better put it on top of a cookie sheet. I have a feeling this guy's going to boil over on me. So if you see a bunch of smoke coming from this direction, that's what happened. So I'll be back in 45 minutes. Well, our pie's been baking for about 15 minutes now. And I remember after I was sitting there thinking and I bet you guys all thought if this was grandpa's pie he was gonna take a nap and like burn it and everything <laughs> but I was actually thinking I remember when I was a kid I remember seeing my mother take strips of aluminum foil like this and after the pies in there about 15 minutes you fold them around the edges of the of the pie so these edges don't burn off completely because by the end of this process I imagine with this glass pan that's gonna get pretty doggone hot so I'm going to wrap that around there, so hang on while I burn my fingers, because she's pretty warm now. Well, it took a little doing, because it's kind of warm right now. It's kind of like folding them under around the corners like you're making one of those paper toys that the kids make. And I don't know if this is necessary or not. I just somewhere I remember seeing it, so hopefully the edges won't be burned black by the time the pie cooks all the way through. So I'm just trying something here. So I'm going to put her back in here for... Oh, about another half an hour and then see what it looks like. So hang on for a while. Don't fall asleep. Well, been cooking in the oven here for 45 minutes. And it's starting to smell good. But I don't think it's quite ready yet. I'm going to put it back in for a while because it's a pretty big pan. But she's cooking good. And so far I don't have any smoke coming out of the oven. So we're doing good. So we'll give it another 10 minutes to see what happens here. Well, friends, there you have it. We've got her all baking here. It was it been about an hour and 15 minutes or so, and I think it's done now because the top was bubbling up real nice. Either that or those gummy worms are alive in there and they're trying to get out. I don't know, but the whole top was moving real nice, so she was cooking good, and I think we're good. So got it all nice decorations here. How do you like that? 
you know they do say you eat with your eyes before your mouth so so no matter how good it looks it can still taste bad right <laughs> well anyhow I just wanted to show you what I'm doing here so I hope it tastes good it's got to cool down for a while now before a guy digs into it I'm sure it's gonna be really good so well there you go that's one of my homemade inventions here so hope everybody's having a good day and thanks for watching my silly video